All right, guys, welcome back to Sort of Scotland TV. Did not really want to talk about this topic, but there's a lot of talking points going around. There's a lot of controversy going around. So I'm going to give my two cents on it because uh, why the hell not? First off, though, I want to say rest in peace, Claude. Don't really watch Arsenal fan TV anymore. Nothing to do with them getting rid of Claude, to be honest. Just um, just grew tired of it. But when I did watch it, Claude was the guy that I most looked forward to. I thought he was the best person on the channel. To me, the guy seemed genuine and legit. He didn't try and act like a hard man or act like a buffoon or, you know, put on fake emotions or anything like that. To me... Claude was uh he was one of the better guys on the show. He wasn't like your your DTs and your that other idiot uh, troops, you know, that act as if they're gangsters when in reality you would say boo to them and they would start crying their eyes out. I mean DT can't even take a joke and he, he he cries on live stream for 90 minutes, so he's not really much a tough man. But anyway, this isn't about these other guys, this is about Claude. And uh, yeah, so rest in peace. It's a sad that he died. You could really see the guy apparently had mental health issues. I'm not saying that's the reason he died, but he did have mental health issues, and you could really, really see the, the like the decline of him over the past couple of years. He he was looking worse and worse, even when he was still on Arsenal fan TV. He seemed to be putting more weight on. He, he just wasn't looking healthy, and I can only assume that you know. Well, we've actually seen him upload to his own YouTube channel since he, he left Arsenal fan TV. It looks like he got worse, and you know, I'm pretty sure lockdown and all that other stuff didn't help. So it's sad. I like Claude. I thought he was a good, you know, content creator or, or whatever he is, pundit, whatever you want to call it on Arsenal Fan TV. And he, he will be missed, to be honest. I don't think I'll ever watch Arsenal Fan TV again. But first off, I want to say rest in peace, Claude. And I want to address this whole racism claim. The the fact that he was racist to Son. Now, when Son got substituted in that game, Claude came out and said, DVDs going off. DVDs going off. Now, people have come out and said this is racist. Now, what I interpreted from it was that since Tottenham, they never seem to, like, I'm an Arsenal fan, but it's not even Arsenal fans, it's football fans in general. You'll, you'll notice about Tottenham, when they get big wins, when they go and beat a rival, the Tottenham fans can never forget about it. They, they, they always have to live it down. It's as if when they get a great win, you know, they have to brag about it constantly, constantly for the next 10, 15, 20 years. And they'll never forget about it and they'll never let you forget about it either. Now, when he made the DVD comment, that is originally what I took from it. Like, DVDs going off as in they're going to make a shit ton of DVDs because of beat Arsenal. You know, and, and they won't be able to live it down. And then Claude actually came out and said that's what he meant. And he also quoted Frank Lampard, who's made comments about Tottenham made in, uh, making DVDs in the past about after beating teams. So as Claude addressed, as Claude proposed, does that mean that Frank Lampard is also racist? Absolutely not. It doesn't. I don't think Claude's racist. Now, let's be honest, if, if he was racist, if... There's a lot of people of colour on Arsenal Fan TV. They wouldn't want to work with a racist. They would not be, you know, like years and years he worked with Claude. Are you telling me that he never said that if he was really a racist, do you tell me that he never said anything racist until that DVD comment that wouldn't make those guys be like, wait, we don't want to work with him? So absolutely not. So this whole, um, this whole idea that Claude is a racist is fucking stupid. So let's just bin that. Right, let's just bin that completely. Now... Even, let, let's go for argument's sake here, that Claude actually meant that uh, by DVDs, he was actually directly, uh, directly, you know, targeting Son because he's Asian, and that is why he, DVDs going off, because he's going to sell DVDs or whatever. If that is what Claude meant, I mean, that's not even racist, that is him stereotyping the fact that apparently, now I don't even know about this, but apparently Asians in London sell DVDs, but that, that's not racist. Racism is believing that you are superior to um, people of different colour. Now, that is not what Claude's suggesting here. Claude is suggesting, well, if he was, let's just say it for argument's sake, if he is saying it for the reason that apparently in London, which I do not know about, but apparently Asians sell DVDs in London, if that is what he's going for, then he is stereo stereotyping the fact that Asians supposedly do that in London. It's nothing to do with he believes he's better than Asians. He's not, he doesn't believe he's better than Asians because he's not selling DVDs. If he was going with that, the argument here would be that he is stereotyping Sun because Asians in London sell DVDs. So it's not even racist. It's, he's not bringing skin colour or race into the equation here. He's, he's simply stereotyping something that apparently Asians do in London. 
Now, speaking of racism, let's move on here to another guy on the channel that in the exact same stream, yes, troops, this this delusional bastard, this wannabe hard man that thinks he's gangster because he lived in London, I mean, I, I, I bet, I mean, you can just tell the way this guy gets on, acting like an absolute mongoloid. People like this, they tend to be all bark and no bite and... Uh, I, 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 I really, believe, I, I'm really, really um, unlikely. It's unlikely to believe this guy's been in fights. Let's be honest. I, I highly doubt he's been in a fight. If any tough man walked up to troops and offered him a one-on-one -on -one or said hi to him, he'd probably shit his pants. If we're being completely honest, but he will act the hard man on Arsenal fan TV. So you know what? Fair enough, troops. You can do what you want. But in this same stream, troops um, said that Harry Kane is getting decisions because he's white. So their their troops is actually bringing race here into it. Now, why is Harry Kane getting decisions because he's white? Is it because troops believes that being white means you're inferior? Therefore, you need to sit. You need to get decisions based on your skin color. Could that be what troops was going for? If so, that would make troops a racist. That would be the definition of racism that he believes that Harry Kane is getting decisions because he's white, because of his skin color, because. Being white means that he's inferior to other players. Therefore, he needs advantages. He needs benefits. Therefore, that makes troops race. It's as simple. It really is that simple when you break it down. Claude, at best, I mean, well, not at best, at worst. Claude, at worst, is guilty of stereotyping Asian selling DVDs. Whereas troops, at worst, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not one of these idiots that's going to say, oh, troops are racist. Troops are racist. But at worst. You could argue that Troop's comments, well, you could, you, you can argue, you can argue at worst that his, um, his comments are racist. Even at best, it doesn't look that good. The guy is simply spewing garbage here just because Harry Kane got a couple of decisions. Do I believe Troop's honestly believes that Kane is getting these decisions because he's white? No, I mean, probably not. He's probably just saying that on camera to try and be controversial, to try and act up and, and play the tit, which he does do quite a lot and he, he's very good at. Let's be honest, he, he's very good at acting an idiot because he, he's, he is a fucking idiot. But if Claude said that, now let's let's flip the tables here. Now, two, both of these guys apologised for their comments, yet one of them was allowed to stay on Arsenal Fan TV and one of them was kicked off Arsenal Fan TV. Now, who should be kicked off? The guy that said the stuff that is, you know, could be deemed as racist or the guy that said the stuff that could be deemed as stereotyping? Yeah, yeah you understand you got kicked off here. It was it was Claude. Now, if you uh, if you turn the tables and, and flip it, if Troops had said DVDs going off and Claude had made a comment about a black Tottenham player and said that so-and-so is only getting decisions because he's black, and they both apologise for those comments. Who do you, who do you think staying on Arsenal fan TV? Do you think Claude's staying on Arsenal fan TV? And you think Trip still goes because he made the DVD comments, or, or do you think, or do you think? Well, let's be honest. It doesn't matter what you think. We know. We one hundred percent know what would happen if if the remarks were the other way around. Claude would be gone. It's it's not who said what. It's 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 not what you said. It's more like who said it. You know. So that that's what it's basically all down to here. And then I have a, I really do have an issue with Robbie. He, he made a rest in peace video about Claude, but Claude being dead, and he came off like such a fucking jackass. He, he's talking about he had all these great memories of Claude. He said that he reached out to Claude during Christmas when it was actually Claude that reached out to him. So you didn't reach out to Claude. I mean, that's not the same thing. If someone reaches out to you, you can't claim to have, you know, reached out to try and help them. If they came to you, you, you ain't going to them. It's as simple as that. And then he's saying that he's got all these fond memories of Claude, yet he was telling you what the memories were. And he was making Claude out to be a bum, and he was making himself to be this great guy. Oh, I, I remember this time I, I went to France on a trip to watch Marseille with with Claude, and he had no money, and I lent him money. How, how, how does that make Claude a great guy? Robbie is pointing at the fact that he lent him money and he's saying that, he, oh, Claude's a great guy because I felt sorry for him and I gave him money. I mean, that makes no sense. And then another story about how Claude didn't have the, the right shoes when they were doing a walk. Oh, we had trainers, but Claude didn't. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just Robbie trying to, you know, elevate himself here up this ladder. It's Robbie, even in a rest in peace video, he's trying to make himself to be this fucking god. And, and, and like Claude's down here below him. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Everybody in Arsenal Fan TV, they're so fucking fake. 
let's be real, guys. You chose sponsor money over your friends, right? It was nothing to do with racing. them. Like I said previously, if they fought, if they honestly ever fought, right, Claude was racist, they wouldn't work with him. You, you wouldn't work with this guy for what, however long Arsenal fan TV was about six, seven, eight years. If you thought the guy was racist with all, you know, with all the different e uh, ethnic minority groups in uh, Arsenal fan TV, there is, there's no way, there's no way you'd have Claude on it if you, if you genu genuinely thought the guy was racist. So it's nothing about racism or, or comments or you didn't want to lose the sponsor. Let's be real. Let, I would respect Robbie so much if he came out and said, you know what? At the time, I was all, it was I had to choose between keeping Claude or keeping the sponsor, and I chose the sponsor because I value money over friendship. If Robbie came out and said that, I'd be like, you know what, Robbie, I respect you for telling the truth, and and that is what he would be doing. But at the moment, he's coming out here, and he he's lying, man. He is. He's lying. It's all fake. All these. Oh, we we we're, we're so sorry about Claude. I mean, the, the guy the guy Claude was suffering for mental health issues and. Look at lockdown. The guy's probably going to be on his own, and I'm not. I don't. I don't exactly know his life, but it could be Arsenal fan TV is maybe all the guy had. You know, that could have been all that he maybe had. That was his. You know, um, that was his like a get out card in life. I don't know. Arsenal fan TV may have been the only thing he had to go to, and they took that away from him because they valued sponsorship money over over a human being. So I mean, it is that simple. And now Arsenal fan TV. Are sharing a GoFundMe account, a GoFundMe account apparently set up by Claude's family. I mean, is this some sort of joke? You think about the amount of money that Arsenal fan TV have made due to Claude over the years. They should be paying. They should be paying for his funeral. Now, I'm not saying that they're that never have I mentioned that they're the cause of his death, but they should they should be stand the way they treat him. They treat him horribly, and I think to make up for it, they should offer to pay the full amount of. The funeral, and that, that's what Robbie should do. And if he could do that, at least you could look at the guy and go, you know what? That's a, it's a nice thing to do, he, even though you did let Claude down when he when he needed you the most. At least you're coming out and paying for his funeral. But no, they they want Muppets online to pay for it. It, it makes no sense, man. Arsenal fan TV, oh, for, by the fans for the fans, nah, man. It's it's by it's by a, it's by a few a, a select few for the money. That's what it is. It's, it's all about the money. Don Robbie, Don Kitty thinks he's a madman. Thinks he's so what, <laughs> mate? You're a boring bastard. I mean, there's a cut. Your 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 channel used to be good back in the day, when people were like marking out and, and over exaggerating about Arsenal results. But in reality, what have you got now? You got a bunch of boring bastards sitting down talking about a game live. Why would you want to watch that or listen to that when you can watch the game yourself? It makes no sense. Troops, DT, all these guys, off fake people. They're not real, and I won't be watching them. And and that's it. That's all I really want to say, guys. So there you go. Rest in peace, Claude. I think the guy deserved a hell of a lot better. And it's a shame that, you know, in probably the, the, the hardest year of his life, when he probably needed that Arsenal fan TV, you know, that outlet the most, it got taken away from him through no fault of his own. Through no fault of his own. If, if him saying DVDs coming off means he's a racist, then think about it. I mean, 90% of the world must be racist because I'm sure people have said a hell of a lot worse than that. I mean, the, the worst you could say is he's stereotyping Asians, but even then he came out and clarified that is not what he meant by it. So, you know, what is it? Is Claude a racist? Is Frank Lampard a racist? Is everybody a racist? That You know what? Probably in these guys' eyes, I probably everybody is. But anyway, there you go. If there is one racist person on Arsenal Fan TV, it's troops. So when's he going to get fired? When's he going to let, let go? You know what I mean? Or is he not, does that not fit the agenda? Is he the uh, wrong type of person to get fired for racism? Probably. Anyway, guys, that is it. Didn't want to make this video, but... The, the whole throwing Claude under the bus and calling him a racist, it, it makes me sick, it does. He's not a fucking racist, right? He's not. <laughs> he made a stupid comment about DVDs, you know. It, it is what it is. Who cares? It's a throwaway comment. Probably The guy probably thought nothing of it when he said it. Yeah, it, it, it's cost him. It cost him his job. It cost him his hobby. It cost him what appeared to be friendships, albeit now they do look fake. So yeah, it pretty much cost him a hell of a lot. And it was, it was worthless. It, it didn't mean nothing. It meant absolutely nothing, guys. Absolute joke. Anyway, that is it. Till next time. Until the next uh, Scotland game or until the next Hearts Review or, or whatever else I'm going to do in the channel, then uh, that is pretty much it. And I am absolutely done with Arsenal Fan TV. I don't, I've, I've probably watched about five videos in the past year from Arsenal Fan TV, but I will not, I will not be watching. Um, I've unsubscribed. I don't even think I ever subscribed, to be honest. I think I just used to 
you know, search it up. But I, I won't be watching it, guys, because I think the way they treated Claude was fucking disgraceful. And uh, it needs to be said. And they're all coming out now, and they're all, oh, Claude was a great guy. He was our friend. Yeah, well, where were you when you needed you the most? Hey, you only there, right? You chose the sponsorship money. Let's be real here. That's what you did. Anyway, till next time. Peace.